somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more are you looking for? Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's better. Take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While they keep holding, hold on, you floating under the sea. Now here, all the fish is happy. As I stood the way to the shore, the fish on the Hi, reception. Nice to see you again. It's story time today. And I wonder if you can guess where my story is going to be. Is it the jungle? Is it the city? No, it's under the sea. And today's story is called The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. Wow, can you see that? He's got some glittery scales too. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Do you think he liked his scales? Yes, the word proud tells us that, doesn't it? One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. Do you think the rainbow fish is going to give the little blue fish one of his scales? If you were the rainbow fish, would you give him one? Yes. I think I would too, because he's got lots, hasn't he? We could share them. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. And from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Oh dear. What do you think would have happened if he'd given the, the little blue fish one of his scales? Do you think they would react the same? Or do you think they would be friends with him? I think they probably would have been friends with him, wouldn't they? But now, He's on his own. What good would the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anyone like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find a wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. So where does he have to go? Beyond the coral reef to a deep cave. And who was he going to find there? It's an octopus. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside. He couldn't see anything. 
Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I wonder if the octopus will be able to help him. I wonder what she's going to say to him. What would you say to him? What would your advice be? What would you tell him to do? Hmm, let me have a think. What would I tell the little rainbow fish to do? Hmm, maybe he could make some friends if he shared. What could he share with them? Of course, that's right. He's got lots of shiny scales, hasn't he? I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Ooh. I think that's what you said, wasn't it? I can't, said the rainbow fish. But the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales. Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Oh dear. Is he going to take the advice of the octopus, do you think? Let's find out. Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Mm, he's having a think, isn't he? Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Maybe I wouldn't miss just one. I think he's going to give one to the little blue fish. Do you think? Let's have a look. Oh, you were right, look. He's given one little scale to the little blue fish. Carefully, the little rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Wow, thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he took the shiny scale in amongst his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new shiny scale glittering in the water. How has the rainbow fish made the little blue fish feel? He's made him happy, isn't he? He's swimming all around excitedly. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. I wonder what they want. Mm, I think you're right. I think they want a shiny scale too. Everybody wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home amongst the other fish. Can we see? Look, this one's got one. This one's got one. The little blue fish has one. Oh, I can't see one on the purple one yet. They'll all be coming to get one. There they are. Can you spot all the shimmering scales on all those fish? Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, and yet he felt really happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. That's what he wanted them to do. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. I wonder why he has friends now. Can you have a think? What did he do to make those other fish friends with him? 
He shared, didn't he? He shared his scales. And in the end, it made him feel really happy. And there he is, just with one of his scales still left. So he didn't give them all away. He kept one for himself. But he made all his friends happy, which meant that he was happy too. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's story. And I wondered if you would like to make a rainbow fish of your own. Here's my little rainbow fish that I made out of a paper plate. And I cut some fins and a tail out and stuck them on the back of the plate with sticky tape. And then I cut out some scales coloured ones and also the shimmering ones that our rainbow fish had and I used tin foil for those so you might be able to find some tin foil in your drawer and then I made his eye just out of a circle of paper and some some um, yellow paper for his lips and then I put some glitter on mine so I'll put the instructions to make this on Twitter Today, so that you can make your very own rainbow fish. Here we go. And I hope to see some of your rainbow fish on Twitter, or if you want to send me an email, that would be great as well. Love to see all the things that you're getting up to. Well done for listening reception, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>